Okay, so now comes the, the dirty work. We've got all of our projects downloaded. We've got the files we believe we need. We've uh, downloaded the, the vendor files that we need. Now it's time to start doing the actual conversion from lineage to AOKP. Uh, it does help a little bit that I've done this before. Uh, so part of this is uh, experience and part of this is trial and error um, when you go through and, uh, and make these changes. Uh, the biggest thing, obviously, anything that says lineage is going to need to say AOKP. However, um, <clears throat> keep in mind, for instance, this now AOKP dependencies file is going to go look for these dependencies, which we know are old material that, that doesn't work. And so it may actually be better to get rid of that file than to keep that dependency file, if that makes sense. Um, so if we uh, set up our build environment shell um, and we look and obviously our device is not on the list. Um, <clears throat> you know, if we, uh, we looked at last time, like if we have a, a vendor setup file that would add it to the list. So we know that our device is not on the list and we need to rename that lineage.make file to aokp.make. So obviously that the aokp ROM can look for it. And then we need to make some, some changes here. So obviously product name lineage dash KLTE VZW needs to be aokp. Obviously it's, it's never gonna be able to find it. Uh, the other one, <clears throat> excuse me, notice at the top it says inherit product uh, vendor CM, CM for science and mod, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem because that file is not going to exist. So let's take a look here while we've got the, got everything open. Um, so we go to our full um, file, which is called next. Make sure there's nothing in here that's inherently uh, wrong. Uh, vendor, all that's going to be good. Pretty much looking to make sure that any file that it's pointing to is not going to be a file that uh, that doesn't exist or a folder that doesn't exist or um, branded as lineage when we need it to say AOKP. And it's not just a branding problem, it just won't function properly because it will call looking for an AOKP and it's gonna find the lineage and, and ditch. Uh, you may have to go through like the make file here for the KLTE. Um, we're just looking for uh, packages that um, are not available in AOKP that might have been available in uh, Lineage or Science and Mod. Of course, I'm sure you're fully aware, but Science and Mod uh, ceased and uh, became, or was not became, but was replaced by uh, Lineage OS. So we go to Vendor AOKP Configs and we see um, Common Full and common full phone. So common full phone dot make exists, but it's under vendor AOKP. And then notice that it's configs and not config. So you definitely have to make sure all your paths are set up properly. So now AOKP is based on CyanogenMod mod or based on um, lineage OS. So it's really similar and close. We're not gonna see a whole lot of changes that we have to do, but uh, but these are just things to be aware of. Like this would be a lot bigger if we were going from lineage to say Omni ROM or um, to Slim ROM perhaps. So the big thing that you're doing when you're trying to convert from one to the other is making sure that uh, you have properly tagged everything 
to point to the right ROM, have the right names, looking for the right files in the right folder. Let me see here real quick. Poke around for a minute. Okay, so these KLTE comments got the frame dependencies. We should uh, ditch that. Again, it's going to point to the wrong stuff. Uh, CyanogenMod dependencies, obviously that's going to point to the wrong stuff, so we need to, to get rid of those. Um, no dependencies in the QCOM common. Um, yeah, so uh, this one was actually fairly easy to do, but uh, still still important. So if we brunch AOKP underscore KLTE BZW dash user debug, so we're saying, hey, we want to build AOKP, and we're trying to build the um, Verizon variant of the KLTE. Now we'll go ahead and build an edge variant here, and uh, and see if it's going to pick up. So, oh, sched, sched, shed, sched tool, excuse me, sched tool is currently not installed. So we need to install that. We saw that uh, back in um, one of our lollipop builds, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna open a new terminal and take care of that real quick here. Sudo app get install sked tool. There we go, it's installed, ready. Now let's try to run that again. And there we go, we see that it is now uh, running and it's set up, it's found the appropriate files at least to start. And, uh, and now appears to be getting ready to build, which is good, good sign. So, um, this is just the nitty gritty of going through and preparing to uh, convert from one custom ROM to a different custom ROM. And uh, sometimes it can be a lot more complicated than what we just went through, but uh, uh, sometimes like this, it's uh, fairly straightforward and easy. So I do believe we're gonna run into a few errors because this uh, build setup is set up for lineage and not for AOKP. And I'm hoping we get some really great errors that we can uh, work on as we go through here. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll let it build and uh, see what we get. Good, we had an error. Great. Well, we're gonna tackle this error in, uh, in another video here so we can really focus on that. 